All right, guys, it's time for Tuesday Treadmill Talks, where I talk about my fitness struggle, so to speak, and then I vlog for the rest of the video, because I think my viewers will not really care about how much I weigh and how I've been exercising that much. I know a few of you do because you've been asking for this, so let's do this. So, several weeks now, I was like, I'm going to start a fitness vlog. Because Don's doing it, and Dave's doing it, comic book Steed, just to name a few. So I'm like, fuck it. After I finish working out, I'm going to walk on the treadmill and just talk about what's been going on. So I weighed in, I think it was this morning. I've been up for a long time now. And, um, I weighed 206. Now, this isn't bad. This is actually the lowest I've weighed in a while ever, since after Thanksgiving where I got up to 210, which was unpleasant. I mean, I've been 220. It's been my heaviest. That was right around the beginning of this channel where I had the really fat face. And then I starved to death for a while there. Yeah, I just could I didn't have time to eat. I literally was working from 4 o'clock in the morning and then going to school all day and getting home at like 7 and then just collapsing and falling asleep. It was a bad time. So, um, yeah, I've been, been doing more sit-ups, push-ups, lifting some weights, uh, jogging on the treadmill, actually. I want to, my goal next year is to run a half marathon. Uh, we have a couple half marathons go on in the G the city where I get my comics, so that's cool, and I want to do that. So enough about the fucking fitness vlog. Let's talk about what's been going on in my reading, because um, there's a lot I want to talk about that I don't necessarily have time to review. And I'll start off with Marvel stuff. Oh my, one Marvel thing I finished. I finished Captain America White finally, and. I liked it. It was no Daredevil Yellow. Daredevil Yellow is still going to be the best of the colors series. But I think I put it on par with Spider-Man Blue. It's Spider-Man Blue is the teeniest bit, bit better than Cap White. But Cap White was different in the fact that it wasn't like a lover he lost. It was his best friend. And that's why he gets put above Hulk Gray because Hulk Gray feels recycled. So I give it a 4 out of 5 stars. Recommend you check it out and trade. Uh, nextly, I caught up on Southern Bastards. Yes, I even read that issue with the baby blue cover. Which I thought was weird. But in respect to what happened in the issue, it made a whole lot of sense. Um, I'm really digging Southern Bastards. This is like Jason Aaron's best comic right now. It's just so good. Um, cause I live in, uh, my granted my town is bigger than Craw County, but not much bigger. And I remember football at my high school was a big, big fucking deal because, um, our high school team was one of the best in the north part of the state. And a lot of college recruiters actually came to our games and people actually went to ended up going to colleges on football scholarships for instance um well i can actually say this i go to butte college yeah i'm just going to say where i go to school i go to school at butte community college and that's where aaron Rodgers, who's the quarterback for the uh, green bay packers went to community college at he actually went to um not my high school, but high school in the, one of the high schools in the town I get comics at. So Eric Rogers is a big deal up here. Um, we had um, a senior, oh this was several classes because I had his brother in my class. Uh, we had a senior who uh, played for Utah State. Uh, it, so on and so forth. Lots of people end up playing in big colleges and stuff. Or they join the military because there isn't a whole lot here. Or if they're like me, you know. Oh, shit. Sorry, my alarm started to go off. Forgot I had an alarm for today. Uh, anyway, so Southern Bastards, 
Brandon, I don't think my town's that corrupt. I mean, there's some town council bullshit, but that's that's with every town. So I don't know. I just really am digging Southern bastards, and I'm so glad I caught up. Um, now for print books, because that's my digital format. Because I haven't read anything else digital in a while. Those were the two. Um, Dark Knight 3 doesn't come out until the end of the month. Even though it was supposed to come out end of last month. So, I think last week it was supposed to come out. So, you know, we're going to get that one shot that's $7.99. But at this rate, I'm not even surprised. I paid more for comics, unfortunately. Uh, what's another? Um, oh yeah. Danger Girl, I thought it was supposed to come out tomorrow, but I don't know when Danger Girl's going to come out. It's been forever. And there's only one issue left, so... Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. That's the thing. With my print books, I have no idea when they're coming out because they keep being postponed. I don't even know if Manifest Destiny still is a thing. It hasn't come out in a few months. So I don't know. Are they going on hiatus again? That's like the thing with this book. It goes on hiatus for like three months at a time. And we're like, oh, I guess no more Manifest Destiny. Which is a shame, it's one of my favorite indie titles. Um, so, well, I'm going to spoil some of my haul. I'm not going to do a haul this week because I don't have enough stuff. And next week I'm going to do a haul. Hopefully I get my Fate of the Jedi shit in because that guy hasn't shipped it yet. That's bullshit. I paid, I paid a little bit of money for all of the Fate of the Jedi series and it hasn't come yet. But I got an in-stock trades order. I'll just spoil some of it. Uh, I got Vo Walking Dead Volume 22 because I'm going to get back into the Walking Dead comics. I can't force myself to get into that stupid show again. But at least I'll get into the comics. Um, so, because I'm starting to collect it from singles. I picked up issue 151, of course. And I'm going to attempt to just start collecting it over again. Um, I don't know. I just want to get back into Image. I used to be such a big fan of it. Sorry. Uh, the garbage gets picked up today, so I get a nice view of the garbage truck. Well, actually, that's the recycling. It's a recycle week. Anyway, so... Getting back into Walking Dead. And that's kind of because of the whole... My pole is just so tiny now. And I missed my shop. And I'm like, okay, what else can I get into? So, since I had no Marvel, and literally this is the first time in a long time that I'm just anti-DC because of this whole convergence thing. Because they fucked up continuity and then they just decided they don't need continuity anymore. I'm just like, you know, I'll see what's up with Marvel. And since Secret Wars finally ended, I think it's actually... Uh, a good chance, time to, you know, jump in. And then nothing sounded good except Deadpool. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited for this Deadpool movie. It's like the only superhero movie I actually give a shit about right now. Um, I just really want to get into... I'm thinking about getting hardcore into Deadpool again. Because I was big into the Daniel Way stuff, which was the second series that had the Secret Invasion and Dark Rain tie-ins. Uh, but I really I fell off after that. Um, so yeah, get into Deadpool. Uh, but I am attempting to get into the Marvel Star Wars stuff again. Not for anything, for a good laugh at the stupidity that is Marvel Star Wars. And here's my theory on Marvel Star Wars right now. Marvel Star Wars could be fantastic if they actually let the writers write. I mean, granted, they need to have Pablo Hugado, who controls the new canon, needs to rein everyone in in order for canon to work. Fortunately, he's botched that up already, and there's continuity errors. But with that aside, you could probably fix those. You can make a good new canon. And I'm not saying this because I've suddenly given up on the expanded universe. Oh no. I love the expanded universe. 
but the new canon could be just fine, like an ultimate universe sort of thing. But here's the problem. They got those two dumbasses at Marvel that are in the Star Wars department. Those guys don't know fucking shit. Um, there was a really good... <laughs> well, it's on Alex Starr's channel, but... My buddy Dylan from um, the Star Wars Legends podcast asked them a good question. He was at this panel where they were talking about new canon stuff, and he asked for the more Legends, which was cool. But when these Marvel guys were talking, it was like they didn't even know what to do. It's like they, they, they're not ever told what's going to happen. So, like, they just write really stupid fan fiction a lot of the time. And granted, there's some good stuff. Darth Vader number one had some Darth, had a really good Darth Vader moment at the end. But I mean, that's the thing. You can't just have little tiny good things all the time. You need to have like a good storyline. Because that was the problem with Lords of the Sith. As uh, you guys remember from my review uh, several months ago when I read that. Um, Lords of the Sith could have been an excellent EU book. But it had stupid things in it. Like, it's overly referencing the Clone Wars uh, for no reason. And granted, I just actually watched those episodes with with uh, Cham, the main character. Which, granted, Anakin was barely involved in that. Anakin controlled the space battle. And I thus, I had no idea what the fuck was going on in that flashback. So that's another continuity error. I mean, unless they ha Ryloth got attacked again in um, the new canon, and Anakin and Ahsoka were there to witness it, then I have no idea what the fuck happened. Um, but then again, we have T canon. Well, actually, we don't have any canon. It's new canon. It's all thrown together, except the video games. Yeah, that's right. Battlefront is not canon. Big surprise. It doesn't have a fucking campaign to make it canon. So why would it even be canon? I mean, I guess that Battle of Jakku happened in the new canon. But, I mean... When it's just a multiplayer game online with a few scenarios in single player... Um, I can't imagine them making that canon. I mean, maybe the survival mode missions with their um, cutscenes, the cutscenes are canon. Um, but, no, the, the rest of the game can't be canon. That's just stupid. Um, so, let's talk about something else. But So, the other day I picked up the new Marvel Star Wars. I picked up Darth Vader and I picked up Anakin and Obi-Wan. I've read one comic out of those. I just haven't had time. Because I was reading Shadows of the Empire. I made a review of it, actually. And I think it's actually a pretty damn good review I did. A no-spoiler review. I only swore one time in the review. And it was ass. So, I mean, I think I'm getting better with these Star Wars reviews and not swearing in them. Okay, so I have to preference this. So back when Matt Wilkins was doing Wendig's World before he had to take it down because people were using it and saying that it made the EU uh, movement look bad, uh, Matt said, hey, can I borrow some of your um, Aftermath review? And I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. That might have been, I don't even remember the conversation. But he's like, I can't use a lot of it because you keep calling him a twat. And I'm like, oh, well, that's true. They call him a whole lot of names. So I'm, I try not to swear in my novel reviews anymore. Um, just because it's just not user-friendly. And I have to look somewhat presentable on uh, certain pages that Lucasfilm will look at. If I get featured on them, so, yeah. That's irritating. But it is what it is. So... That's pretty much all that's been going on in comics. Books. Uh, I started the Force Awakens novel. It's not bad. It's actually pretty damn good. It's, uh, I think the whole thing is, it's an Alan Dean Foster book, 
And I'm just so happy to read an Alan Dean Foster book because he's been writing stupid Transformers books. You know, based around the Michael Bay movies. And I'm just like, fuck that. I don't want any of that. Um, let's see, what? So I'm reading that. I'm re also reading, I'm almost done with the Elf Stones of Shannara. Um, so I've been reading some Terry Brooks. And let's talk about that stupid TV show. It's stupid. I don't ever want to watch it. I watched four stupid episodes of that show. I can't even bring myself to finish season one. It's just, it's just fucking terrible. I mean, I'd rather, I'd rather ev anal evacuate on my own face than watch that show. It'd be a better watch. I don't even know how I would have an anal evacuation on my face. I'm not that flexible. I, I mean, am I supposed to like bend over or bend backwards? I don't know. Um, let's see. I finished Dave Filoni's Clone Wars Season 1. It took six months to do it, but I did it. And, um, I started Season 2, and it's, eh. I'm trying to finish Dave Filoni's Clone Wars, so, you know, I get a preference of what was saved from the new, for the new canon. I think I'm six episodes into Season 2. Oh, no, I haven't had time to watch. Because... Well, let me talk about my personal life right now. So my Monday starts on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday's my big work day. Then Sunday, I do homework all day. Uh, and then Monday, I have school all day. Uh, Tuesday, I work all day. Then Wednesday's like my Friday, and I have... Uh, I have school all day. And then that's the end of that. Um, so that's cool, I guess. Um, so after that, um, like Thursday and Friday, I do some homework. Granted, I do like one, one or two classes of homework on Thursday and Friday. But mainly, I just catch up on reading and Netflix. I got my Netflix back. So that's, that's excellent. And, um... I watch stuff. I'm trying to finish several series right now, but I keep starting new series, so it's like a clusterfuck. Um, I started Jessica Jones. It's all right. Um, so I, fin I started one episode. Started Sh Samurai Sh Champloo, which is just an anime. That's pretty damn good. A few episodes into that. Um, Sons of Anarchy, I'm halfway through season six, so I'm getting close to the end of that. And I haven't even picked up Supernatural in a while. I was watching Supernatural because an ex-girlfriend was watching Supernatural. So I got hooked. And I'm about somewhere in the middle of season eight. I should probably finish that up. So yeah, that's my boring ass life. I can't believe you watched the whole fucking thing. Um, let me know what I should be reading in comics. You know, because I'm up to for suggestions at this point. I have nothing to fucking read. I mean, I do have to catch up on Birthright. But that's it. That's That won't take that long to do. And most, probably some of your suggestions I'll say no to because I've already attempted them. So don't feel offended when I say no. I don't mean to sound like a dick, but some things like, you know, the Batman Superman comic, that's awful. I don't like it. And things like that, that's, that's bad. And so, you know, let me know what you think. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Later.